Well hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to Dainty Gifts School of Decor and Decoupage and today I have this wonderful decoupage tutorial using rice paper on a decorative chopping board that I once again found at my local charity shop. So this is what the chopping board looked like before I got my hands on it and before I got started with any decorating I gave it a really good clean using a cloth and all-purpose uh, cleaning solution. Once I had cleaned it I took some sandpaper and gave the front of the chopping board a sand down so that's the only side that I'm going to be decorating so that's what I sanded. Once it was clean and sanded it was ready to be repainted so I took some white acrylic paint and I kept putting it on until I could no longer see the image underneath. This actually took me two coats of a brush application and then two or three coats of sponge application. For some reason this picture just did not want to be covered so it took me a little while. Once my chopping board was prepped, I took my rice paper, this one is from Decoupage Queen, and I placed it onto the chopping board to decide where I wanted it to go. This rice paper did not fit the chopping board all the way, so I had to decide what pictures and images I wanted to keep. So I placed the rice paper onto the chopping board, then take a clean brush and some water, apply water around the edges of where I want my paper to end, and using my nail, scrape away the rice paper. Thank you so much for whoever it was, I'm sorry I don't remember, but somebody suggested this method in the comments and I am forever grateful because it made the uh, separation of rice paper so much easier, so thank you. To decoupage my rice paper onto the chopping board, I just used my usual trade grade PVA glue that you would typically see me use for applying molds onto pieces. So I apply a coat of glue all over the chopping board. I did have to dip my brush into water occasionally because this PVA glue is super super thick so it's not easy to spread it around. Water helped with that. Then I placed the rice paper on to help minimize any kind of creasing or warping of the paper. I start from the top and then using a cloth I help guide the rice paper down and adhere it kind of from top downwards. When the paper is on I apply another coat of PVA glue and leave it to dry thoroughly. Once the glue was dry I took this medium to fine sanding block and sanded off any of the excess edges that were overhanging and I also gave a light sand to all of the edges that I was going to have to blend just to try and smooth out that step in between the rice paper and the chopping board itself to make the blending process a little bit easier. And now we move on to the blending process. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how stressful it was for me. I don't do blending very often. I don't really like doing it. I'm not exactly very good at it. So hence why I don't do it very often. So essentially what I did was place um, all of the shades that I could think of that I might need around me and then start from the red. I don't know why. I just felt like starting from the red. And then I mixed and matched all different shades of paints and try to come up with some kind of solution to where these edges, these really sharp and harsh edges would be a little bit less visible and a little bit less noticeable. Ideally you would want to uh, paint the rest of the image onto it but I'm not that gifted unfortunately so um, I did the best that I could.
Next, to further mask all of the blending and edges, I added a little bit of water into that beige mix that you can see there. And using a natural bristle brush and a bamboo skewer, I splattered on some of that light colored paint all over the edges. I didn't try and get onto the actual middle of the picture and the rooster itself too much. I mainly focused on the edges. After the splatters, I also took a sponge dabber, which by the way, have you noticed, I finally bought some sponge dabbers. Congratulations, me. Um, so I took some of that, again, a beige paint and a sponge dabber and just dabbed it onto the edge of the chopping board to create a nice little border. To seal the image and the paint, I used Heavy Duty Wood Varnish by Polyvine in dead flat finish and I only applied one coat of it, that was enough and this is a decorative chopping board so it doesn't need much protection. And for the last finishing touches, I used All Purpose Ready Mixed Filler through this um, flowery framed stencil, I kind of picked out the bits that I wanted to apply and so I just used a palette knife to apply some of this filler onto, again, these blended edges to kind of once again create a bit more dimension to add a little bit more of this distractive element. final little touch I took some jute string and added a little bow and there you guys go this is what the chopping board looks like let me know what you think to it I have mixed emotions about this project because I like the way that it turned out but the process of blending mm, I need a break from it now also this image is a very kind of country styled image and I don't really do country very often so I don't necessarily have a lot of stencils or other things that would kind of fit into the whole country theme so I wasn't able to really add much more of kind of mixed media element to it but at the same time I also kind of like the fact that I wasn't really able to add much more to it because I think that anything else would have probably been an overkill and I think that it does look pretty nice just in its simplicity. Of course, as always, let me know what you think to this project. What do you think? How did I do with the blending? <laughs> did I do all right with the blending? And for my question of the day, please do let me know what your favorite style of decorating is. So vintage, shabby chic, country, um, gothic, witchy, I don't know. I don't know what the names are, but yeah, if you have a favorite preferred style then let me know and yeah as always links for everything used in this video are going to be in the description below if you would like to follow me on any of the social media check out the links in the description as well and yeah lots of love from my house to yours and i will see you guys in the next video bye